Hey y'all, well if you want to see me do an Ellie Clampett Halloween tutorial, just keep on watching, okay? Hey guys, so today is going to be a fun tutorial for an easy Halloween costume. So, the Halloween costume that I'm going to do is... <laughs> Ellie Mae Clampett from the Beverly Hillbillies. Why are you doing that one? Because I think it would be a really easy... Um, the fun thing about um, Ellie Mae Clampett is that she wore flannel shirts. So who doesn't have a flannel shirt in their wardrobe? And she wore really high-waisted skinny jeans. And who doesn't have high-waisted skinny jeans? <sighs> okay, let's just get started with this tutorial. So the most iconic thing about um, Ellie Mae uh, besides her southern accent is her big hair and her makeup is kind of really simple it's just sort of like the sweetheart girl next door makeup so to start off I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows now she has just blonde eyebrows but I'm just going to use my naked palette and I'm going to use Buck which is right here it's like a um, brown color and I'm going to use this angled brush so hers are kind of natural looking, um, they do arch quite a bit, and they're very full and youthful. So for this tutorial I'm not really trying to, you know, do like a makeup transformation where I make myself look exactly like her, it's more just Halloween inspired tutorial. And I think it's okay if it looks a little clownish because, um, it is Halloween. But now I just want to start with the eyes. So with that same naked palette, I'm going to take the lightest color, uh, which is this one. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. So even though she has a very simple eye look, I thought I would make it a little interesting. And so I'm going to do a blue eyeshadow this one and I'm just going to put that on my lid I don't really want a lot of eyeshadow because it's supposed to be girl next door um, pretty look but she did have blue eyes so I think the blue eyeshadow would be fitting right now I'm just going to add a darker blue so I think I'm going to go for this sort of like teal looking color now I'm just going to keep this really close to the eyelash. I'm almost using it like a liner. Alrighty, so that's it for eyeshadow. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. It's a very white shimmery powder. Um, this one's from Victoria's Secret, but I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore. And I'm just going to dab that in the corners of my eye. And a teeny bit under my brow bone. I'm going to use a little dark brown eyeliner. This is a uh, Lancome. It says black coffee. And I'm just going to line the top lid. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to put fake eyelashes on over top I am going to blend away some of this in her eye thing. That got all crazy. I kind of want to put my, uh, I kind of want to put fake eyelashes on now, but I'm kind of worried that I won't be able to see with them on, so I'm just going to do mascara on the lower lid. So this look is going to be all about the blush. It is Pink Swoon by MAC. It's just a very light bubblegum pink. You want to be really heavy handed with this blush. So I actually decided to um, add some doll face. We just want it to look like our cheeks are flushed. Okay. I'm actually going to warm up um, my skin with a little bronzer. Oh, so we kind of want to get that farm girl, the 
Farm Girl Banana in the Sun. All right, now I just wanna, I'm gonna put some um, highlighter on, and this is uh, Soft and Gentle by MAC. Look. So we're almost done. Now for the pinks, it's a really um, bright, like baby gum pink. So I thought I would try Pink Preview by Lancome. And then just to pink it out a little bit more, I've got Pink Lady by Buxom. And that's it for makeup. Now for eyelashes, I found these um, in the costume aisle. I don't know. I thought I would just give them a try. They've got these cute little bows on them. Probably going to be a mistake, but... It's Halloween costume, right? Definitely not functional. It's close. What? What is my hair? Uh oh. <laughs> the Bobby pin. <laughs> now that you've brushed your hair 100 times. 50 times on each side. <laughs> we can start. All right, so what we're gonna do for this look is we're going to first part our hair down the back so it's equal on each side. So two pigtails. Then we're going to section off this front part of our hair and this front part of our hair. So basically the bangs. Then we're gonna do something with these later, but for now we got Figure out a way to get them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in okay. action. I thought we were back in action. Stop recording. Oh, God. So I sectioned off these front pieces of bangs, and I think I want to also section off just a small part of the crown of my head um, because I plan on teasing. So let's get that out of the way. We will get started. Okay. So before I put my hair into pigtails, I'm going to tease it a little. And so for that, you just need like a regular comb. And I'm just going to start here at the top. And I'm just going to back comb it a little because I want to get some volume. And now we're just going to sort of gently these sections, put them into ponytails. We don't really want them like tight or anything because we don't want to lose the volume. But you just kind of want two cute little pigtails. And I'm just using these yellow ones because this is what I have. But if you have ones that are your hair color, that works too. We're going to actually, we're going to cover the um, ponytails. The next thing we're going to do is get your curling iron. It should be hot. hot. Really hot. So what we're going to do with our hair is we're going to just start curling all these sections towards your face. Now if your hair has trouble holding curl, just spritz it with a little hairspray before you um, curl it. And that will help extra hold it. I'm just going to continue with this until... All my hair is curled. And we're just curling everything in the same direction. Okay, now I'm just going to shut that off temporarily. So I just got some Tresemme hairspray here. And I'm just going to spray the curls. So, start with this back section here. We're going to try to get a lot of volume out by back combing it. So you just want to take sections. And we are just going to back comb it. And 
and gently twist it. Okay, now this huge, beautiful mound, we're just going to pin it in place with a few bobby pins. So as you can see, I just put two little bobby pins there. And now, we are going to start curling this hair. So for this one, I want to use really small sections. So after I curl it, I'm just going to pin it up. And this is just so that it can cool down and sort of keep that curl. So I'm going to go let these cool and uh, come back when they are all cool. Alright guys, so I've let it cool a little bit. Now we're going to finish it off. First I'm going to hairspray it. And we're kind of going to keep it the way it is. All right, we want to hairspray it. So, now we are going to arrange these sort of miscellaneously on our head and pin them. So I kind of like this curl in the front, so I'm going to keep, keep these bangs out. Just a few of them. I'm going to pin the rest of these. So we just kind of want it to look like a pile of curls on the top of our head. So you really just want to sort of fuss with it until you get the look that you're looking for. So, for the back little bumpet thing, if you guys have some hair hanging down like I do, then we're just going to bring it down and sort of wrap it around this ponytail. Okay guys, so just to finish the look, I took out the two pins in the back because I needed more hair. Um, to wrap around the ponytail so just take those pins out and then sort of pull the hair down and then you wrap it around and then I just secured it with a bobby pin on each side <coughs> okay so this is the hairstyle and I just think this hair makes the look so I'm gonna go finish getting dressed and uh, show you what the whole outfit looks like I'm so excited <laughs> Oh, Alright 
guys, so to finish this Ellie Mae Halloween costume, Ellie Mae, was, Ellie Mae wears a lot of pink and flannel. So I found this really cute pink flannel shirt from Hollister. And then I have these really cute ripped up jeans from Zara. And they're high waisted, which goes perfect with the Ellie Mae outfit because she wore a lot of high waisted jeans. And the fact that they're ripped just adds to the whole farm girl appeal. And for shoes, you can go either way. You can wear cowboy roughed up boots. Um, I don't have those, so I'm just going to wear my nude flats. And then to pull the whole look off, I found this piece of twine. And I tied it around my waist. And I hope you enjoyed this Beverly Hillbillies Ellie Mae Clampett tutorial.